Hello, this is Lauren Delsack. I would like to take a look at the horoscopes for the launch and premiere of the movie Zeitgeist. If you're not familiar with Zeitgeist, it is a movie that was released on the internet, a documentary film produced by Peter Joseph and set up in three parts. The first part, entitled The Greatest Story Ever Told, addresses the Jesus myth hypothesis. The second part, entitled All the Worlds a Stage, addresses the attacks of September 11th, 2001. And the third part, entitled Don't Mind the Men Behind the Curtain, addresses the Federal Reserve Bank. If you have not seen the movie, you can view it at zeitgeistmovie.com or on YouTube. Just search under Zeitgeist the movie and you will find it all over the place. I happened to come across Zeitgeist while I was doing research on the topic of astrotheology and happened to view the film just this week. I was so blown away by it that I had to look at the horoscope of Zeitgeist when it was released, which I'll explain, and study it. So that's what we're going to do now. And you will be amazed, especially if you have seen this film. Now, Zeitgeist was initially released on the Internet on Google Video on June 8, 2007. It is being referred to as the old version since the new version, which was the finalized version, was released on Google Video on June 26, 2007. It exploded in the first two weeks it was on the Internet. Just on one day, August 5th, 2007 alone, there was 41,000 views, and that does not even include, that was on Google video, that does not even include what was being viewed on YouTube or other websites that had embedded the video. I believe that as of today, it has been viewed by over 20 million people. Now, those two dates, June 8th and June 26th, we do not ha really have a location or a time in which it went up on the Internet, although we are going to look at the initial release on June 8th. We'll look at that horoscope. And then what I have done is I was able to find that the global premiere of Zeitgeist occurred on November 10th, 2007 at the fourth annual Artivist Film Festival in Hollywood, California. Zeitgeist won the top award of Best Feature Documentary slash Artivist Spirit in 2008 in Hollywood, California. It premiered there, the global premiere, on November 10th, 2007 at 915 p.m. in Hollywood, California, and that is at least a horoscope that we can study because we have a time and a place and a date. Now when we look at the initial release, which was not even the finalized version, but it was on June 8th, 2007, again we don't have a time. So we have to ignore the ascendant, the angles of the horoscope, the ascendant, descendant, midheaven, IC angle, and actually we have to ignore really the moon. This horoscope that I'm bringing up for you, I brought up at 6 a.m. and I brought it up in New York, New York for various reasons which I won't even get into. But anyways, I just want to show you what is being aligned here. We have a T-square. We have Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius, the final dispositor. We can think of the word truth, bringing out the truth. Opposed the sun in Gemini, everything to do with communication. So we're communicating about belief systems, squaring up to the North Node, everything to do with destiny, the public. North Node was at that time in a wide conjunction with Uranus in the sign of Pisces. We can think of rebellion, revolution, having to do with spirituality, metaphysics. And it just so happened that at 6 a.m. we have the moon sandwiched right in there between Uranus and the North Node. But what I want to bring to your attention is the Sabian symbol for that North Node degree on June 8th, 2000. 
2007, the North Node was at 11 Pisces 17. Now, I am going to be referring to the phenomenal book by Blaine Bovey entitled The Sabian Symbols and Astrological Analysis, The Original Symbols Fully Revealed. If you don't have this book and you are an astrologer or student of astrology, I just cannot recommend it highly enough as you're going to see, I hope, through the presentation I do here with the wisdom of Blaine Bovey and what he reveals through these degrees. Now, we always round up with Sabian symbols, so we look at the 12th degree of Pisces. These symbols are related in pairs, in pairs to their opposite placement. So we look at the 12th degree of Virgo Pisces and we have a bride with her veil snatched away and an examination of initiates. I'm going to read the most relevant parts, I think, of how Blaine describes this pair on this degree. One of the motives he uses for this degree pair is scrutinizing the inscrutable. To have a veil snatched away is to have a covering suddenly removed, which implies a sudden exposure at a critical juncture. An examination of initiates is an image of an open scrutiny or inspection of those who have commenced a specific course. It is an inspection or scrutinizing of someone or something. To be able to examine implies an availability or openness of that which is to be inspected as well as a focus of light at a critical juncture along a path, the future of which hangs in the balance. Ritual initiations suggest an introduction to secret knowledge wisdom, an inscrutable source of illumination. Apply this degree pair with a mind to the intense awareness of critical junctures in life, points that put one's true self in the balance, pivots of exposure or revelation, hiding the truth or veiling mystery. If you have seen this film, it is hard to deny the significance of the transiting node on June 8, 2007, the first time this film was released. Let's continue.